Ladies and gentlemen, Rapid Chess here, and <clears throat> today I will show you a game between uh, Anthony Miles and Anatoly Karpov. Um, I've heard about this game, and I found it on um, WeChess uh, on the uh, page of uh, Grandmaster Durar Bailey from Azerbaijan. Uh, I think he's doing a really good job. Uh, finding uh, a lot of interesting games, not like, um, you know, these guys from top tournaments, Carlson only, and uh, somebody, uh, as many YouTubers do, but he finds some really uh, interesting chess from uh, about like 2300 to 2600 and a lot of fun games there. And also he found this game, so uh, without commentary, but anyway, I decided to comment on it because I've heard of it. Okay, so Anatoly plays uh, white. He played uh, back then e4, which is uh, for me was a surprise when I found out that basically he became world champion with e4 and uh, all his matches, uh, I mean, so far, I had Karpov's book and it was only D4 basically, like maybe first two, three games and that's it. But uh, he appears to be a big E4 player. So Anatoly plays E4 and uh, A6. So this is uh, St. George defense. Uh, I don't know, every move has uh, some name with it. Obviously it's... It's just, uh, you know, uh, some kind of challenge, yeah, so to speak, just to play Karpov and with black give him an extra tempo. Yeah, A6, um, A6 is better than H6, I think, yeah, so B5 makes sense. Uh, D4 and black goes B5. Um, so white takes the center and uh, they will develop their pieces and uh, black is not developed yet yeah so the problem here with a6 b5 idea is that and uh, that king side is also not developed you cannot castle queen side basically because this b5 pawn is too far away and uh, you have to find time to play on the king side knight f3 I think uh, today players would do something a bit different. Knight f3 seems to me a bit um, a bit slow. Yeah, it, it's a good move, but uh, given that black is playing so risky, uh, bishop e3 suggests by ancient something different. Yeah, I think today modern players would 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 play bishop b7, bishop d3, knight f6. Um, and here, uh, engines gives big advantage for playing e5. But Anatoly decided to hold horses, and they basically transpose to some more, uh, let's say, clear line. After not playing e5, and like playing uh, in more sharp manner, um, threatening all kinds of c4s yeah and uh, most importantly try to gain tempi on this uh, on this uh, knight so after queen e4 is six engine gives uh, full zeros yeah so it's a big uh, real achievement for me <laughs> when uh, you're playing it's a transposition obviously but uh, after race six and you're playing against world champion and uh, you get basically drawn position after move six so c5, c5 I really don't really like, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'd do something different. Um, bishop e7, but c5 is a good move anyway. So bishop takes c5, and another, uh, I, I don't understand really, say d takes c, I mean c3 is, uh, for me it's better move. I don't know, uh, just uh, giving black this easy development and um, they have no prob no, not prob no problems. Knight d2, b4, e5, 
and knight to d5. So it's kind of Sicilian with um, knight on d2, but uh, Anatoly's idea is to play knight e4 later in the game. And uh, with this e5 pawn, um, uh, it's easier to create an attack. Bishop e7 is a good move. Knight c6. Bishop d2, I don't really understand uh, uh, what it does to black because you cannot really take this pawn. And uh, well, probably just to connect rooks, but uh, these moves don't do too much in chess c4 takes takes and i'd say that black now has um pretty good sicilian defense with one a6 for instance two a6 like good paulson knight to b4 is good um uh, you you might uh, tr uh, transfer knight to d5 or um, exchange one piece and he took it because uh, bishop b1, trying to keep the bishop on this diagonal is um, uh, not the best uh, not the best move yet. This rook is trapped and um, white really doesn't have anything here. These pawns are uh, questionable and um, nothing really works here. So taking is good. Bishop e4. Castles, and uh, mm, he played h6, which is the best move. Um, kind of uh, this pawn is attacked. G6 is uh, gives white uh, after taking some ideas to transfer the knight. So h6 is just correct. Bishop b1, uh, maybe threatening uh, queen d3. If we take, then it's mate in two. So let's move back. Um, um, so he attacked the rook. And it was a mistake. Uh, Angel suggests knight f6 uh, with uh, uh, almost a uh, drawish position. And you can lose if you take. So you cannot take, but white is not threatening anything. OK, so let's move quicker takes takes and uh, black took on b2 and took on e5 um, so with this uh, king on h8 you cannot give uh, mate with knight f6 and queen h7 and uh, black uh, has won two pawns and white has nothing uh, yeah attacking the rook you cannot take the bishop yet and now white, yeah, uh, after rook e3, now queen d1 is a threat. You cannot uh, avoid trading queens. And uh, black is just uh, winning. Yeah, it's technical position. Black has two bishops and uh, extra pawn. Karpov, of course, tried to continue. There are a lot of uh, ways to win this. Uh, I like this uh, bishop c6 because you don't want to allow the exchange of this. Uh, to uh, just You want just to keep two bishops in this position. Uh, just bishops are extremely strong. Yeah, another pawn is fine. And in this position, Karpov resigned. So he was defended, uh, defeated in this uh, St. George defense. And uh, this game is world famous. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.